Unraveling the hidden history of these 2,000-year-old scrolls has required 21st century technology. It was 79 AD when the famous Mount Vesuvius, the same volcano that buried Pompeii, unleashed its fury. When the volcano erupted, it covered the town with hot ash and gases. At that same time, within the town of Herculaneum, a library was buried with hundreds of scrolls, which remained there for centuries. Around 1752, during archaeological excavations at the ancient Roman town of Herculaneum, which was buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, the scrolls were recovered. But this time it wasn't the same. The extreme heat released from the volcano, carbonized the scrolls, basically turning them into black, fragile rolls of ash. For centuries, no one could read them without destroying them in the process. However, in 2025 there was a massive breakthrough. With the help of 21st century technology like AI, the contents of the Herculaneum scrolls has finally been revealed, and what it says sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A 2,000-year-old scroll from the Roman town of Herculaneum has been digitally unwrapped. The document was badly burnt by the volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Origin the Herculaneum scrolls are a collection of very old books written on papyrus, a plant-based paper used in ancient times, especially in Egypt and Rome. These scrolls are nearly 2,000 years old, and they were found in the ancient Roman town of Herculaneum, which was near another famous city, Pompeii. In the year 79 AD, a huge volcanic eruption happened. Mount Vesuvius, a volcano in southern Italy, exploded. It shot hot ash, gases, and lava into the sky and over nearby towns. Both Pompeii and Herculaneum were buried under several meters of volcanic ash and rock. Because of this disaster, many people died and their cities were frozen in time. Everything was covered and preserved including buildings, art, furniture, and even books. In Herculaneum, archaeologists later found a house with hundreds of scrolls inside. This place became known as the Villa of the Papyri, named after all the papyrus scrolls found there. But there was a big problem. The scrolls had been burned by extreme heat and then buried for centuries. They weren't destroyed completely, but they were turned into charcoal-like rolls, very dark, brittle, and fragile. This means they were too delicate to touch or unroll. If someone tried to open them they would crack and fall apart like dry ashes. These scrolls are important because they might contain lost writings by ancient Greek and Roman authors books and knowledge that no longer exist anywhere else in the world. Scholars have always believed these texts could hold valuable ideas about philosophy, science and politics from the ancient world. But for over 2000 years, no one could read what was inside them. So, for many years, the Herculaneum scrolls remained a mystery. People tried many different ways to read them. Some used chemicals. Others tried cutting the scrolls into pieces, or gently opening them with special tools. A few words were discovered this way but most of the scrolls were badly damaged or completely ruined during the process. Because of this, scientists and historians became very careful. They stopped trying to open the scrolls by hand. Instead, they waited, hoping that new technology in the future would make it possible to read the scrolls without touching or damaging them. That time finally came with the invention of 3D scanning and artificial intelligence AI. These powerful new tools gave researchers hope that they could see inside the scrolls without unrolling them. The goal was to read what was written letter by letter, using digital tools instead of physical ones. This challenge, how to read burned scrolls that can't be opened, became one of the biggest mysteries in ancient history. And now, thanks to AI, scientists are finally starting to solve it. Step 1. Scanning the Scrolls after people realized they could not open the Herculaneum scrolls without destroying them, scientists turned to modern technology. Their first step was to use a special type of X-ray machine called a micro-CT scanner. This scanner works like the ones used in hospitals, but it is much more powerful and detailed. The micro-CT scanner creates a 3D image of the scroll by taking many tiny X-ray pictures from different angles. This process allows scientists to see inside the scroll, layer by layer, without unrolling it or touching it at all. This was a big step forward because it let researchers explore the scrolls safely. But scanning the scrolls was not easy. The scrolls were burned, crushed, and tightly rolled. 
They were not flat or clean like a new book. Imagine trying to look inside a crumpled, rolled up, burnt piece of paper where the writing is hidden in the middle, it's incredibly hard. The layers are stuck together and twisted, and the writing could be at any angle. Also, the ink used in the scrolls made the task harder. The ink didn't contain metal, which would have made it show up clearly in an x-ray. Instead, it was probably made from charcoal or soot, which is almost the same color and density as the burned papyrus. So, even with very sharp 3D scans, the letters were nearly invisible. To get past this, scientists needed to create very high-resolution 3D scans, images with a huge amount of detail. These scans had to be accurate down to a tiny fraction of a millimeter. It took hours or even days to scan just one scroll. Even after the scans were finished, the scrolls looked like dark, lumpy rolls in the images. The writing couldn't be seen clearly by the human eye. Scientists knew that the text was hidden inside, but they needed a way to unwrap the scroll digitally, using software to flatten and read the pages inside the rolled-up scroll. This part of the project became a huge challenge. They had to figure out the shape of the scroll's layers and build a digital model of how the pages were folded. Only after doing this could they start trying to find the writing. So, the first challenge was, create super detailed scans without damaging the scroll. Understand the shape and layers of the scroll. Figure out where the writing was hidden in those layers. This process took years of hard work. But it laid the foundation for the next step. Using AI and machine learning to find the letters and words that no one had seen for almost 2000 years. Without this scanning step, none of the later decoding would have been possible. It was like building a digital microscope to peer inside history. Step 2. Finding Hidden Ink with AI After scientists scanned the Herculaneum scrolls using special X-ray machines, they had very detailed 3D images of the rolled-up pages. They could see the layers of the papyrus inside the scrolls. But there was still a big challenge. The writing was not visible. In many cases, even with scanning, the ink didn't show up on the images. That's because the scrolls were burned and turned black. The ink, which was likely made from carbon, the same material as charcoal, blended into the blackened papyrus. This made it almost impossible to tell the difference between the writing and the paper. Even very sharp scanners couldn't see where the letters were. This is where AI, artificial intelligence, made a big difference. Scientists used machine learning, a type of AI that learns by looking at examples. They trained the AI to look at the scans of the scrolls and spot very small patterns on the surface of the papyrus. One major breakthrough was something called the crackle effect. When someone writes on papyrus with ink, even if it's invisible later, the ink leaves behind tiny cracks or texture changes on the surface. Think of it like a dried up painting. If you look closely you can see fine lines or cracks where the brush touched. Even though the human eye can't see these changes, the AI was trained to detect those small cracks and learn which ones were likely made by ink. Over time, the AI got better and better at recognizing the shapes of letters even though the ink itself was invisible. This process wasn't easy. The AI had to work through millions of data points, analyzing every bump, crack and change in texture. It had to guess where letters began and ended and what kind of letter it was. Sometimes, the letters were squished or bent because of the scroll's rolled up shape, which made it even harder. But after many trials and lots of training, the AI started to successfully identify real Greek letters. At first it found just a few, then entire words, Eventually, full sentences were revealed. This was a huge achievement. The biggest challenge was making sure that what the AI found was real writing, and not just random patterns or damage on the scroll. So researchers had to double-check the AI's guesses by comparing them with known Greek handwriting from the same period. Thanks to this method, the AI helped scientists read parts of a scroll without unrolling it. It could detect where the writing was and even understand what it said. This was something no one had ever done before with a scroll in such bad condition. This moment marked a turning point in ancient history and technology. AI had solved a mystery that had confused scientists for over 200 years. And it opened the door to reading hundreds more scrolls that were once thought to be lost forever. The Vesuvius Challenge Winners Once scientists figured out how to scan the burned scrolls and how to use AI to find the hidden writing, they faced another problem. There were too many scrolls and too much data for just a small group of people to analyze. So, they decided to open the project to the public. In 2023, a group of researchers launched something called the Vesuvius Challenge. It was an open competition where anyone in the world could help solve the mystery of the Herculaneum scrolls. 
They gave people access to high-quality 3D scans of a real scroll and challenged them to find real letters or words inside. The prize? $700,000 in total rewards for those who could help decode the scroll. People from all over the world joined, AI experts, students, programmers and researchers. Many of them didn't work in history or archaeology. Some had backgrounds in computer science, 3D imaging or mathematics. The project showed how people with different skills could come together to solve a 2,000-year-old puzzle. One team, led by Luke Ferreter, a student and software developer, made a huge breakthrough. He created an AI program that could read the Greek word pi omicron rho phi rho alpha, porphyra, which means purple dye, a word used in ancient writing about royalty and wealth. This was the first word ever read from inside an unopened Herculaneum scroll. It proved that the technique worked and that real, meaningful text could be recovered. Other teams followed, improving on each other's code. Another major contribution came from Yusef Nader, who built tools that made the 3D layers of the scroll clearer and easier to work with. These tools helped the AI find more letters hidden in the scroll surface. By early 2024, the Vesuvius Challenge had its first set of big winners. A group was able to recover over 2,000 letters from one scroll, a huge leap forward. Their work uncovered complete lines of text and even some full sentences. Experts confirmed that the writing was in ancient Greek, and likely part of a lost work on philosophy, possibly written by Philodemus, a known Epicurean philosopher whose library was stored in that very villa. For the first time in history, we are truly reading a book that was buried by a volcano for 2,000 years. The Revelation of the AI Deciphered Herculaneum Scrolls One of the most remarkable breakthroughs from the AI Deciphered Herculaneum Scrolls is a passage discussing the nature of pleasure, a central theme in Epicurean philosophy. The scroll is believed to be authored by Philodemus, a 1st century BCE philosopher associated with the Epicurean school. In one passage of the scroll, Philodemus challenges the notion that scarcity enhances pleasure. Quote, As too in the case of food, we do not right away believe things that are scarce to be absolutely more pleasant than those which are abundant. This statement suggests that the enjoyment derived from something isn't necessarily increased by its rarity. Philodemus appears to argue that abundance doesn't diminish the pleasure of an experience, countering the idea that scarcity inherently adds value. Further into the text, he poses a reflective question. Quote, However, is it easier for us naturally to do without things that are plentiful? Such questions will be considered frequently. Here, Philodemus invites readers to contemplate whether it's more natural for humans to forego abundant items, indicating a deeper exploration into human desires and the psychology of pleasure. In the concluding sections, Philodemus critiques his philosophical opponents, stating, quote, For we do not refrain from questioning some things, but understanding or remembering others. And may it be evident to us to say true things, as they might have often appeared evident. This closing remark underscores his commitment to seeking truth and understanding, emphasizing the importance of questioning and reflection in the pursuit of knowledge. These passages provide valuable insight into ancient philosophical debates and highlight the Epicurean focus on rational analysis of pleasure and human behavior. The successful decoding of such texts not only revives lost philosophical discussions but also demonstrates the potential of modern technology to bridge gaps in our historical understanding. Well that's it for today's video. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, see you in the video that appears on your screen.